Hey everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. You know, as angling techniques get better, the equipment improves. It means we're catching more fish. But with that comes, as they say in the movies, a great responsibility. As anglers get out to enjoy a day of fishing, the equipment they are using for the most part has seen some significant improvements. And this could be resulting in more fish being caught. You know, 30 years ago in Alberta, it would have been a novel approach to who cares how many times you catch a fish, there's only a few of us. But now, in a lot of the fisheries, we outnumber the fish. In the Bow River, there are about 60,000 fish caught each summer, and there's only 15,000 fish in the river. Each fish is caught four times. This recycled catch rate is what worries Sullivan. While fishing populations do continue to increase, they still lag when compared to the increased number of anglers and the improved angling techniques. Fish populations have generally increased, but people and efficiency have gotten better at a faster rate. So to keep fishing good, we have to keep the recycle rate down. Even with really good catch and release techniques, oh, you know, only, um, you know, nine out of 10 fish will survive a bait fishery. So a 90% survival rate, but still a 10% mortality rate. And if you catch a fish four times in the summer, that means 40% of the fish might die. To better understand the impact repeated hookups have on fish, Mike has recruited several anglers from the Edmonton chapter of Trout Unlimited. And we're catching, marking, and tagging walleye. The idea is, this is a lake where the walleye are really large. It's been catch and release for quite a few years. And we're getting walleye in the 45, 50, 55, 60 centimeter range. We don't know much about dynamics of walleye that size in Alberta. Specifically, how easy are they to catch? Fishermen say, oh, there's big walleye. They're really rare. They must be really hard to catch. We realize now they're actually not rare. They're easy to catch. And the vulnerability, how easy are they, are the mathematics we need to set how many tags do we need, how old do the fish have to get, what fishing pressure can they take. All of our fisheries management numbers really need this data on what is the recycle rate? How often do you catch these big walleye? Let's go fishing. But instead of catching 50 walleye or 100 walleye in a day, my son and I would go out fishing and I'd say, okay, let's have a contest. First one to 10 walleye wins. And I'd let him win, you know, and he'd catch the 10 walleye and I'd have four because I'm on hook this fish. We got 14 fish in the day, but it was an event. Cool. Pick a number. I'm going to catch uh, five walleye in Wabaman Lake and then I'm going to try for whitefish. I'm gonna catch my five walleye, that was fun. And now I'm gonna put on a little wire worm and I'm gonna go out in the deep part of the lake and I'm gonna try, because I know there's big whitefish out there. I go to Buck Lake, I catch my walleye in the slot, I put it in on the ice. There are eight pound whitefish in Buck Lake. Switch over, go for something like that. This lake, if you're just doing it recreationally, hey, catch a few walleye, they're big perch in this lake. Let's stop fishing for walleye after we catch five or 10 and go after perch. Another important step we can all take when it comes to ensuring a fish survives its encounter with an angler is to properly release it. So when you catch a fish, don't go, where's my landing net? Or, oh no, my landing net's stuck under, <laughs> stuck under the oars. Get things ready. So right here we have the landing net is right handy. My glove is right handy. My pliers are right handy. <laughs> my measuring board is right there. Um, you've got the camera. <laughs> My camera is hidden somewhere else. But if I'm going to take a shot, have things ready and laid out. Don't be searching for them. Too many times when I'm watching anglers on the river, they drag a fish up on the bank and then start rooting through their pack trying to get their camera out. Prepare yourself, the old Boy Scout model. So it's pretty simple. Just have your stuff ready. And we do see people that take their cell phone and want the Instagram shot and then give the fish to their buddy and it falls in the mud and they pick it up and, you know, for my work, I will use a stopwatch and I'll time anglers. And just this weekend, I got one walleye that I was watching a guy release that was over six minutes before the walleye went back in the river. Well, that's a dead walleye. 
Almost 60% of Alberta anglers enjoy fishing on larger bodies of water, seeking out walleye and pike, while the other 40% utilize our stocked lakes and ponds. Yet there are fishing opportunities to be found in our rivers, like the North Saskatchewan and Red Deer. Those are great fisheries. Just at the Devon Bridge over the last couple COVID summers, um, we're seeing five to 7,000 anglers at that bridge. Wonderful. Why not look at some other species? You know, we're just so focused sometimes on walleye is the good, the good eating fish. I killed a red horse, a shorthead red horse sucker the other day, smoked it, pulled the bones out. It took me, a, you know, 10 minutes to pull all the bones out of the fillets. Just delicious fish. But as we get more and more pressure, we have to become more and more responsible. So I don't see it as restrictions. I see it as being responsible. Be nice to fish. You know, we like fish in our future, so just be nice to them. Handle them properly. I eat fish. I ate a sucker on the weekend. I went to Buck Lake when the slot season was on and killed walleye. Of course I love eating fish, you know. But I also like going to the, the river in Devon, catching a couple gold eye. Just change your goals a little bit and recognize that even at a lake like, like Jackfish, we can easily find 30 anglers on a, on a lake like this. Um, 300 hectare lake, just this winter, there's over a thousand anglers fishing this lake. A lot of pressure. And the fishing is still good because people weren't poaching too many. They were handling the fish properly. Um, he just caught a nearly 60 centimeter walleye in a lake that might have 5,000 anglers each summer fishing on it, there's only 300 hectares. Amazing. So I think Jackfish Lake is an example of, no, conservation works. Responsible angling works, absolutely works. The management of Alberta's fisheries is not all that different when compared to other jurisdictions across North America. No, it's not unique at all. It's just that we have more lakes like the few lakes in Wisconsin that get a lot of pressure. They have to have a biologist on them and they have to really match the harvest to the pressure. We just have to do that at most of the lakes in Alberta. So you can't compare us to Northern Saskatchewan, which has one biologist and 10,000 lakes. You compare us to the parts of Wisconsin, Southern Ontario, where you have pressure and production that are, hey, we have to try to balance this. We're really just accountants that know how to drive jet boats at night in white water. <laughs> We're accounting for how many fish do we have, how many people do we have. So anytime you get a budget that is near the red line, where, wow, we cannot give every person a fish, you will find every biologist in North America has the same issues. So Alberta is not unique. We're just closer to the red line of the budget. And we're managing it so that the budget is in the black. There is good fishing to be had. Really pull back and look. The pike fishing in Alberta today is way better than it was in the 80s and 90s. The walleye fishing is phenomenally better. Uh, this lake is full of perch. Uh, the gold eye fishing in the river, the, uh, the, the sauger fishing, the walleye fishing. Yeah, these are the good old days in Alberta. And it's because of responsible anglers like these guys. So the way ahead? So I'm not saying don't go fishing. It's a great sport. More people should go fishing, but don't catch 50 walleye in a day. No reason to do that. Set a reasonable goal. <laughs>